It is lunch time! In my hands I have a box of delicious takeout. This is fish and chips, mm. an authentic British staple, and we are going to sample it here at this local park. Time for the big unveil! Okay, the last one too. Oh, wow. it looks like they gave us guacamole! Are you serious? I've never had guacamole with fish and chips. Really excited to finally try the fish and chips. The aroma coming out of this box is just wonderful. And I think this is a dish that most people are familiar with in North America. You can also get fish and chips there. But in case you're not, it's usually just breaded cod or haddock and you get it with chips, which are french fries. So enough talking about This the is food. the real deal. Let's actually dig in. Mmm, I'm gonna start with a chip. And that is not guacamole. <laughs> No idea what that is. Mushy peas? I think I'm having mushy peas. It's all guacamole. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Why would there be guacamole? I don't know. Mexican influence? Ooh, we're gonna dunk that into the tartar sauce. Wow. That's amazing. I think that's pretty much my favorite British food. Absolutely love fish and chips. Something I've been eating all my life, but they just do it you know, extra special over here. It's authentic and it's really, really amazing. And you have a few pigeons trying to steal your food. They're slowly inching their way over. Oh. <gasps> what kind of historical or background information can you give us on fish and <laughs> chips? Well, I can tell you today, this day in history, that we spent <laughs> about two minutes to finish that off. All, all that's left is a little bit of sauce and grease. <laughs> okay. Now some history about the dish. The first shop opened up in 1860 and so I guess it's only been around for 150 years. It's hard to believe. So fish and chips are kind of new. Yeah, and I've been eating them for about 30 of those years, so. And price point. So in terms of price, we paid 12 pounds, which I guess if you're earning a local salary isn't so bad, but <laughs> if you're bringing over your Canadian dollars, you're getting pounded by the exchange currently. But anyways, yeah, that was that was really good. It was enough food for the two of us. I mean, I probably could have ate my own, but that's only because I'm a pig. <laughs>